You're going to get judged more when you're in shape. It's just going to happen. Okay, we live in a world now where, unfortunately, people that make progress and people that feel good about themselves a lot of times get punished more so than people that let themselves go. And I mean that politely because I've been in both situations. Granted, when I was 300 pounds, we lived in a slightly different world than we probably live in now and things were looked at differently. But when I was overweight, I didn't get a lot of judgment. People didn't judge me negatively for being overweight. But why? Well, my theory and a lot of what I've recognized with a lot of other people is that when you're overweight, you're the person that kind of has that subconscious sort of underlying degree of just helplessness. And you're, you're not someone that is going to be a threat to people. They may not look at you and say, aha, yay, that person's not a threat. But subconsciously, when you're out of shape, when you look like garbage and you act like you look like garbage, people are going to take advantage of that on a subconscious level. I had more friends when I was overweight. I had more success in different areas when I was fat. People wanted to hang out with me more when I was fat than they probably do now. But more so, I didn't feel judged then. Now, I feel judged a lot more. And it's not because I'm front facing and out there in the public. I'm talking about people that don't even know me. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you are someone that's lost weight and you compare how people treat you now versus how they treated you then, it's kind of wild. Hey, please do make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then also hit that little bell icon down there in the bottom right. All kinds of transformational content, content that's geared towards weight loss, fat loss, everything. I think you'll get a kick out of this channel if you're someone that's ever gone through a transformation or you are going through one right now. And then after this video, check out one of my sponsors, Love Good Fats. They are just about all the major retailers now, but there's a link down below if you wanna check them out too. Perfectly keto friendly, low carb friendly, and they are geared towards promoting healthy fats. Total paradigm shift in the world of bars, right? In the world of foods and how we look at food in the first place. Not to mention delicious. My personal favorite is the lemon flavor. That one is hands down the best, but the peanut butter and jelly one is good too. So they have plant-based versions and regular versions that have dairy as well. So check them out down at the link below or check them out at your local Whole Foods, your local Walmart, or a lot of retailers, honestly. I'm not gonna go out on a limb and say that this is all like a fit shaming thing. There's the whole fat shaming, fit shaming conversation where people that are fat are just kind of, uh, we're, we're trained to not make a comment. We're trained to never say something or never abuse the fact to express that maybe they're hurting themselves with how they're living their life. So we just kind of keep our mouth shut. Then there's the fit shaming piece where, yeah, you're different if you're in shape these days. You're the minority, so you stand out. So maybe uh, you could argue that you're getting fit shamed because you're in shape and people are jealous of that. I, that certainly could be the case. But as someone that's been in both situations, and I'm sure you have too, I've noticed that it comes down to a security thing. And that's what it is. People don't necessarily want to just cut you down, but if you are in shape and you weren't in shape before, you do come across as someone that doesn't provide a lot of security for them. Subconsciously, in certain levels, they respect the heck out of you. They have to. Okay, people are not totally dumb. They know that it takes effort to do what you did. They might throw you under the bus and say that you had some help or you used supplements or you did this and that and whatever. They can say that, but they know that it takes hard work to get where you are at. And that, on some level, that respect transcends into seeming, seeing it as a threat. So you will encounter that people do not like you as much now as they did before, but it should not reflect in your character and how you see the world, and it should not allow you to become cynical. Because if you were to take the way that people look at you and the way that people treat you and the way that society is now and truly internalize it, you would become very cynical and very dark and you would hate a lot, and that is no way to live your life. But do not let it push you back to being the way that you were before. You see, before when I was 300 pounds, I could be the guy that would be the default friend. It was easy for me. It was easy for them. They didn't have to do anything. They knew they could call me and I would just show up and I would be there and I would be easy company for them. Do you think I'm easy company now? They probably feel to some degree that they are getting judged. Not that, I don't think I'm getting judged. 
I mean, I probably am, but they feel like they're getting judged. So tell me if this has happened to you. Okay, you go out to dinner with some friends and you make a healthy choice at a restaurant and your friends don't want to do that. They want to go out, but you don't think anything of it. You're focused on you. You're focused on what you're doing. It's no part of what they're doing. And you want to order your salad with a side of olive oil and a side of chicken breast that you cut up and put on your... That's just you. You're not doing it to them. But how do you think they see it? They see it as you making them feel bad. Okay? They are weak in that point. Now, society will tell us that we have to completely dance around the fact that they might feel weird about how they look and how they eat and stuff like that. And I understand that. Don't make people feel bad. But if they're consciously making a decision to worsen their life, you can't say anything because it could hurt them. But they're not going to necessarily say anything to hurt you about your decision. You know what they're going to do? They'll shadow ban you. And that's what happens. So we always say it's windy at the top. When you, when you start to have progress and when you start to change who you are for the better, you might be magnetic to all kinds of personalities and you might be infectious in how your energy is. But when it comes down to developing close, intimate relationships, it becomes that much more important to invest in the ones you truly, genuinely care about. Okay, the people that were there for you before may not be there for you now. And you will know in an instant when the going gets tough and when you make them feel self-conscious inadvertently by being who you are, you know that either they have some work to do or they're not your real friends. It's okay to open your life up to love and happiness and lots of embrace from all kinds of people. Absolutely, 100% you should. And you should open yourself up. But never, ever, ever lose focus on doing what you do and being you. Because people will come and go out of your life, you will get judged, and it will be tough. Period. It's the way it is. I'll see you tomorrow.